In this illustration, we intend to simulate the hysteresis behavior of bolted end plate RWS connection with vertical slits in the Abacus software. As you observe in the picture, this model is composed of being column, end plate, bolt, continuity plate, web plate, and stiffener. In this question, the beam has been connected to the end plate by weld. An end plate has been connected to the column by bolt. As you observe in the picture, four slits have been created on web beam. In this question, a cyclic loading is applied to the top of the beam and following that, the hysteresis diagram of the model is drawn. In this picture, the hysteresis diagram obtained from the Abacus software has been compared with those results gained from the article. In this picture, the deformation of the model under the cyclic loading uh, can be observed. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled a Cyclic Performance of Bolted End Plate RWS Connection with Vertical Slits. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on create part. I intend to create geometric shape of the beam. I will select the modeling space as 3D. From here, deformable, shell, and extrusion. Enter approximate size equal to 1000 and continue. As you observe in the picture, the type of beam is IPE 270. The length of the web is equal to 270 millimeters, and the length of flange is equal to 135 millimeters. A is the distance between the first slit to the column face. The width of slits is equal to 86.4 divided by 4. In the next step, I will enter geometric shape of beam into the assembly section and rotate that 90 degrees about x-axis. In the next step, I will move end plate 
as much as 10 millimeters opposite to direction of X axis. In the next step, I will move beam as much as 20 millimeters upwards. In the next step, I will enter geometric shape of web plate into the assembly section and rotate that 90 degrees about Y axis. After that, I will transfer that to a proper place. In the next step, I will enter step module, click on create a step. In the step one, the bolt load or the same, the pretension of bolts will be applied. I will select sta static general and continue. The analysis will be done in non-linear form. Time period is equal to one second. and OK. I'll click on mechanical menu then select elasticity and elastic young modulus is equal to 172 gigapascal and I will enter this quantity equal to 172,000 megapascal. The size of meshes have been considered as 5 millimeters for the bolts. I will click on seed part, consider approximate global size for the bolts equal to 5 millimeters and OK. I'll click on mesh part and yes.
as you observe in the spectra in the experimental sample a local buckling has occurred in the section which can be observed in the Abacus software as well. In the next step, we intend to draw the hysteresis diagram of the model. Actually, uh, we intend to draw this diagram in the Abacus software. To do so, I'll click on Create XY Data, select ODB History Output, and continue. Here, I'll select All Reaction Forces, click on Save As, then add all reaction forces up together. Click on create XY data, then select operate on XY data and continue. First, I select U3, divide that by 1000. 170 millimeters and this figure is related to the distance between the place of loading to the center of the column. Here I'll multiply force by 1.17 meters. Here, select Combine, first select Rotation, and then Moment, Save As. Here, you can observe the hysteresis diagram having been drawn in the Abacus software. I'll transfer this diagram to the Excel software. The first column is rotation, the unit of which is radian. The second column is moment, the unit of which is newton meter. The diagram having been drawn with red color is the one having been obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software 
have a rather good conformity with those mentioned in the article, indicating that this question has been simulated correctly in the Abacus software.